name, but the legend lives on. It's said that people can remember where they were when they hear the news of famous events. And the death of Elvis Presley is no exception. I can certainly remember where I was, and since that time, Elvis has been always on my mind. But is Elvis really dead? There have been sightings all over the world, and in certain places, like UFOs, there are more sightings than others. No more so than here in Bahrain. But we can't go on together with suspicious minds, so we've come to downtown Adelia to see if we can find out the truth of whether Elvis is really alive and well and living in Bahrain. Uh, excuse me, sir, uh, uh, have you seen anyone looking like Elvis? Uh, don't be cool. I don't know what you're talking about. that uh, you've chosen this celebration of Elvis as part of your leading group. You're going from Bahrain, yeah? Absolutely, yes. Uh, it's been great here, and uh, understanding the brotherhood of Elvis, that's, uh, it's, it's apparent in this island, which is uh, unusual for uh, a Middle Eastern country, but great to see that you can come away, and uh, the secret society is still operational. I mean, are these men sane? Uh, they are sane in that they are cloned from the very hamburger of Elvis. Really? Yes. So, I mean, why did you go to Bahrain in the first place? Well, there are two reasons, really, Andy. Uh, one for the money. A two for the show. Mm -hmm. Operating a radio, let's go, can't go, and don't you? Say the motto's very true. Well, you can do what I did, but then I'll go out and switch it to you. Well, you can tell me now, then I'll go out and do it. What makes these grown men dress up as Elvis is a mystery. Even their wives and girlfriends can shed no light on it. And why the fascination with Elvis? Which is certainly international. One thing is for certain that even in yet, Elvis is still a larger than life character.